So welcome everyone that's gathered today in person and online. Uh, my name is Rocky Swift. I'm a correspondent with Reuters and I'll be the moderator for our talk today. Um, this is a, another in our continuing series in conversations with experts uh, pertaining to the coronavirus and vaccines. And, uh, you know, just last month, Japan began its vaccination campaign with imported doses of Pfizer. And only a handful of Japanese companies are involved in production of Japanese uh, of COVID-19 vaccines in country. So our speakers today are uniquely uh, positioned to talk about uh, their own research on this, uh, in, on this topic and also the broader implications for vaccine policy going forward. Um, so I, I think I'll let our speakers introduce themselves from right, from, from my right to the end. And then I believe uh, Dr. Akahata will give opening remarks and uh, then we will have a Q&A session. So please. Okay. Good afternoon. Um, I'm Yasumasa Iwatani from National Hospital Organization, Nagoya Medical Center. Um, I'm in this team. Uh, I'm taking charge of the um, very basic science, virus research, and for example, uh, evaluation of the neutralization antibodies, and uh, some other you know very basic. And I, usually, I don't like you know speak in front of this um, mass media, but. Uh, um, I believe this vaccine is very uh, hopeful. That's why I um, came here today. Um, as much as possible, we can, I can you know, uh, answer your questions. Okay, thank you. It's me. <coughs> Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Takuya Yamamoto. I'm from the uh, National Institute of by medical innovation, health, and nutrition. So I'm an immunologist, and I'd worked in the uh, vaccine research center in the NIH from uh, uh, 2009 to the 2015, and together with uh, Dr. Akahata. And, and when I came back to Japan, and my dream was to make the, uh, the Japanese-made vaccine. So my role in, in this team is now the, to discover the immunological coordinates of protection by the vaccination. So uh, today, I, I, I'm happy if you have any question regarding my part. Thank you very much. So good, good afternoon, everyone. I'm uh, Yasutoshi Kido from Osaka City University. So our team is involved in, the, in this project in, um, uh, the, in the analysis of the vaccine elicited the SERA and the clinical trial. So my expertise is infectious diseases and topical medicine, especially in uh, global health settings. So we are willing to expand the, uh, we, we are willing to expand the future vaccine, not only in Japan, but also the other countries. So thank you very much. Well, good afternoon. Um, thank you very much for inviting us to this, um, this club. And um, I'm very honored to be here. And uh, my name is Naoto Wemura. I'm a professor of clinical pharmacology at Oito University Faculty of Medicine, and also uh, heading the uh, clinical pharmacology center, uh, Oito University Hospital. So I will be the uh, physician uh, who is uh, responsible for conducting clinical trials in the future. Thank you very much. Hi. Uh my name is Wataru Akahata, and uh, let me start the uh, introduction by myself. Um, oops. That? Okay. Uh, I work for the uh, NIH Vaccine Research Center US uh, for 10 years to develop four vaccines. Uh, actually, that, that's a vaccine, it's uh, uh, alpha virus vaccines. And uh, in 2013, I founded BLP Therapeutics with the goal of the developing of uh, vaccines for infectious disease and uh, uh, cancer therapeutics vaccines. 
Uh, infectious disease vaccine, we are uh, conducting the phase one uh, slash phase two uh, in US, and uh, also the dengue vaccine next year, uh, we are going to do the uh, phase one uh, clinical trial. We plan to do the uh, phase one clinical trial. Uh, for my work uh, in the developing of the these vaccines, I received the uh, NIH director awards as well as the Japanese government awards. Uh, this picture shows me the participating uh, in the trial for the chikungunya vaccine, uh, which was one of the va uh, vaccines developed at the Vaccine Research Center. Uh, So that today, uh, oh. today I, I, what I would like to do uh, is uh, describe our vaccine uh, develop, uh, development efforts uh, against COVID-19 uh, to develop a vaccine in general. I think uh, that there are two important uh, considerations. Uh, first one is uh, uh, what kind of the vaccines format do you use? Uh, second consideration is uh, how do you design the antigens? Uh, for our COVID-19 vaccine, we choose uh, uh, self-amplifying, or it's called uh, SARNA vaccines platform, that will enable a rapid vaccine production for all segments of Japanese population. Uh, vaccine format can be determined uh, mainly by the uh, purpose of the uh, goal of the vaccine, and antigen design is uh, antigen design is a uh, content uh, because uh, each virus is uh, different, and understanding of the virus mechanism and the structure is really important to design the antigens. Our our vaccine has two unique aspects: uh, format and content, uh, compared to the others. Uh, let me first explain the advantage of the uh, SARNA vaccine format. This figure summarizes the function of the uh, SARNA platform compared to other common vaccine platforms such as DNA or uh, and uh, mRNA vaccine, messenger RNA vaccines. Uh, in all this vaccine approach, the disease antigen is expressed from uh, the RNA or DNA vector and induce immune response specific for the disease antigen. The SARNA vaccine platform much like uh, the messenger RNA vaccine, but the, the major difference is that the uh, SARNA vaccine can amplify the RNA message using the polymerase enzyme encoded in the RNA itself. And in here, it shows green. Uh, therefore, the uh, efficacy of the SARNA vaccine is much better than the DNA or the mRNA vaccines. And also, the, please note that the uh, SARNA is not a virus or not infectious. So it's an enzyme, uh, polymerase enzyme uh, function. So it is a safe vaccine uh, approach. Uh, as a group, compared to the, the vaccine amount required to induce a compatible uh, neutralizing antibody response between mRNA and sARNA, and they found that sARNA needed only 1.25 microgram to induce the same immune response by induced by 120 microgram of uh, mRNA. The DNA vaccines require the, uh, usually one to five mg and then the up to three dose to achieve those response. Uh, the messenger RNA vaccine uh, from such as Moderna requires 100 microgram in two doses. Whereas our vaccine using the uh, sARNA approach may only require one to 10 microgram and it is possible uh, that the, uh, uh, induce the, uh, such as uh, uh, sufficient antibody response or the uh, immune response. So this difference in amount of the uh, drug product requires uh, uh, give us uh, the big potential uh, advantage when we provide when we produce the vaccine for Japanese population. 
the SARNA requires just 127 grams, whereas the DNA vaccine requires 253 kilograms, which is really difficult to produce at the GMP manufacture scale. To better understand and, uh, the, this difference, let me show you the how many people uh, could be immunized with 127 gram vaccine. This is a kind of the uh, rough estimation. Uh, 120 gram of the DNA vaccine product could vaccinate the uh, 60,000 people in the, uh, such as uh, like uh, the Tokyo Dome Stadium. And 120 microgram, uh, 127 gram of the uh, mRNA vaccine could vaccinate it to the uh, 600,000 people, such as uh, living in the Shinjuku and then the Minatoku. However, the same amount of the SARNA vaccine could vaccinate it to 127 uh, million people, effectively the entire Japanese population. Uh, this is why uh, we choose the uh, uh, SARNA platform. Uh, next, uh, uh, the uh, advantage uh, to use uh, our the vaccine is uh, uh, the question of the how do you design the antigen. That is also the really important. And our vaccine is designed to be highly immunogen immunogenic and effective. Let me explain the rationale for design of our vaccine. So the most of the current vaccine use whole S spike protein as antigens, like, uh, uh, let me show you, the, uh, I can use this, like, like this. And uh, RBD uh, is a receptor binding domain, uh, it shows a, a red one. RBD is a part of the S protein, spike protein, and bind to the cell receptor on the human cell. Uh, we, we design for our vaccine to focus on the, this RBD domain. And then we, we just call it the uh, first generation of the vaccine is a whole S antigen, and then uh, we call it the second vaccine because we only use a receptor binding domain, uh, this region. Uh, to date, uh, the immune response against uh, COVID-19 that most correlated with the protection is uh, uh, neutralizing antibodies. Uh, RBD, receptor binding domain, is the most important region to induce uh, neutralizing antibodies. For example, uh, re uh, receptor this, uh, the, this group shows receptor binding domain is a target of 90% of the neutralizing activity present in the uh, COVID-19 uh, the immune sera. And they also the, this group shows uh, antibody characterization from the convalescent the patient. Many antibody against S, like uh, the 45.6%, uh, but, uh, but they found they are not the uh, non neutralizing antibody. They are just, the, uh, they found a few, uh, uh, neutralizing uh, antibodies. And then also antibody against receptor binding domain is only the 0.4 percent. Uh, the most of them is uh, neutralizing uh, antibodies. So uh, that's why the, uh, we pick up the, the receptor binding domain as uh, uh, antigens. And the, uh, all the, uh, if you look at the interestingly, uh, really interesting, the, if you look at the size of the uh, S protein uh, versus uh, the receptor do, uh, binding domain, uh, size is uh, uh, around 15% of the uh, compared to the S. And the, uh, this is, uh, uh, if you convert to the ratio of the antibody ratio, 45% uh, is against S except RBD, and then only the 0.4% is against uh, RBD. So the, uh, only the 1% com uh, the co uh, compared to the S. Yeah, so that means, that suggests that it's really difficult to make an uh, antibody against RBD. Uh, so the, uh, that's why the, uh, we have, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, oops. So that's why the, we focus on uh, just uh, ec uh, expose the immune cell uh, RBD domain only. And then the, uh, there's another the, uh, hypothesis, uh, actually the, uh, this is uh, already known that we believe that our RBD only vaccine may have another advantage, uh, especially that in the full-length S protein. 
the uh, RBD may be the in the down and then up position on the native spike protein as indicated in the left panel. Only the up position will give uh, the, the virus bind to the human cell receptor and infect the cell. Uh, while in the down position, uh, R, the RBD is uh, partially shielded by the S protein uh, from the recognition by the immune cell and the maybe the poor vaccine target. Uh, that's why the, our vaccine present only the RBD uh, without any shielding, and then the, uh, therefore is likely to induce a broad and then polyclonal response. And that recognize RBD and then prevent the binding to the human cell receptor. So uh, let me show you the why the uh, our the, uh, uniqueness uh, in my hand. Uh, so that, as I explained, uh, S is like, uh, like this. Ho if you use uh, S as an antigen like this, and then RBD is a uh, sum. So it's sometimes up and down. And then mainly is a uh, uh, down position. 80% of the RBD is down position. And then 20% is up position. Only the up position, uh, this uh, S protein, uh, uh, bind to the cell receptor and then infect. Uh, so the, uh, as I said, when it's down position, uh, the glycosylation or the, it's covered by the, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's avoid to the uh, induce the immune system, uh, it's avoid to the neutralizing activity uh, because of the, the it's, it's called a shielding, shield position. So the, uh, we only use the RBD alone and then the, uh, like this sum, uh, we cut out and then we expose to the immune cell. That's why the, uh, our the, uh, uh, antibody recognize many uh, way, even the, uh, in this region or in this region. Compared to the, if you immunize whole S, your uh, immune system recognize this area or this area, this area. And then, the, uh, but our target uh, antigen is only the S. So uh, most of the, the antibody is induced, recognized by only the RBD. That's uh, the difference. And then the, this is, uh, I, I can't show you the data actually, but the, uh, this is uh, why uh, we believe that the, our vaccine in the preclinical data show that the, uh, uh, our vaccine uh, actually is, uh, protect against the mutant strain. That's a completely different uh, story compared to the other the vaccine uh, companies uh, that developed. Uh, because of the, uh, we are just targeting the RBD and they induce the polyclonal antibodies in uh, many ways. And then uh, actually the, uh, this sums up, uh, this region is uh, really difficult to induce the uh, antibodies. Uh, but uh, still, uh, this is uh, the really preliminary data, and then the, uh, if once we confirm the, those data, uh, we can uh, publish the, uh, the, those data. But uh, so far, we are uh, really uh, promising uh, the data we have, and uh, that's, that's uh, the, uh, a completely different uh, the strategy which uh, the other companies uh, developed. This is a summary of the, our COVID-19 vaccine program. As I said, uh, this is uh, really two unique aspect vaccine. One is a uh, self-amplified RNA vaccine platform. Uh, this is a format. And then second is uh, we are a design of the receptor binding domain. Uh, the, uh, actually, the, this is a really important region. That's uh, we are designed. So the uh, SARNA vaccine uh, induces uh, effective vaccine with a very small amount of the dose RNA and the efficient manufacture. And then second generation of the RBD vaccine uh, induces a highly immunogenic and the efficacy, efficacy uh, with a safety profile. Uh, lastly, the, uh, this is an uh, acknowledgement slide. I really appreciate to work with uh, those uh, such as a uh, uh, very high talented uh, uh, scientist together with us. Uh, National Institute of Biomedical uh, Innovation, Health and Nutrition, Nagoya uh, Medical Center, Osaka City University, uh, Hokkaido University, and then Fujifilm is uh, uh, making the, uh, actually the actual the vaccine. Uh, uh, in a GMP uh, manufacturing place, and also the clinical stage, uh, Oita University 
is going to take charge in uh, the phase one trial and then phase two, Osaka City University, and then also the uh, National Center for Global Health and then the medicine. Uh, today, the, uh, from the, the uh, Dr. Sugiura uh, cannot attend, but the, uh, he is from the National Center for the Global Health and then the medicine. And uh, I, again, the, uh, this uh, the project supported by the AMED funding, uh, and I really ap appreciate the AMED funding. Uh, thank you very much for, the, for your attention. Thank you very much, Dr. Akahata. So um, now we'll move into the Q&A session. That was a, a very detailed and, and somewhat scientific and complex. But uh, mm -hmm. hopefully we can sort of boil it down for uh, the more simple minds, okay. such as myself. Um, I'll open it up to the audience. Uh, anyone? In, you, sir. And when you come up, please uh, state your name and affiliation before your question. My name is Richard Susilo from Indonesia, uh, Tribune News Compass newspaper in Indonesia. I have a lot of questions for you, especially for uh, the chairman, uh, the uh, CEO of this uh, VLP therapeutic. First question regarding the uh, the fund. You said Ahmed. Funding. Could you explain who is Ahmed Funding? And the basic uh, capital is from Miyako Capital, Sojit, Konyasu, uh, Robert Hisaoka, SK Impact, and LG Fund. Could you? I don't have to know the uh, the amount, but percentage of this uh, uh, investment. For example, maybe uh, Sojitsu 50%. Blah blah blah. And then, what is actually the name? will be the name of this, uh, the brand name of this vaccine. Because uh, if VLP, it referred to Chingungya virus in 2009. So uh, I want to know the name, will be the name of this vaccine. And then after that, uh, how about your, your, your target, the final, the fully final, uh, process of this uh, vaccine uh, when will be and also regarding the uh, approval also have you uh, applied for this approval to United States and Japan and Japan government of Japan and then also uh, maybe we should maybe we should stop there okay. that's that's a lot so <laughs> so uh, if we have time last, we, last one all right distribution to uh, overseas I need to know uh, your planning mm -hmm. of distribution and mm -hmm. for overseas there was a lot of questions, but basically the, the funding, mm -hmm. can you over, overview the funding, the name of the, of the, the vaccine, and the uh, Approval. approvals, yes, the timeline would be interesting, mm -hmm. and overseas distribution. Yep. So the, uh, let me clear the, this uh, the project. So the, this project is uh, completely funded by uh, AMED, uh, COVID-19 vaccine program is funded by uh, uh, AMED. And then the, uh, actually the, uh, those uh, uh, she's a story is a completely different story. So the sorry for the uh, uh, mixing up. Uh, the uh, VAP Therapeutics US uh, received the uh, series A uh, funding uh, for the uh, making, mainly making the uh, cancer therapeutic vaccine. So uh, Sojitsu and then uh, also the Konishias is also the Japanese uh, company also the supported for the uh, US uh, project, uh, COVID-19. It's, it's completely separate project. But also the uh, 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 main uh, the, uh, technology uh, using the, the, this self-amplified RNA uh, is same because of the, this, plat this is a platform technology, so that we, we found that we can apply to the COVID-19 vaccine development as well as uh, 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 the cancer therapeutics vaccine. Uh, is, that, uh, is that okay to the answer to your question, first question? So that, that's a separate. And uh, second question is, uh, uh, What's uh, the second question? B the name. What's the, the name? brand name? <laughs> BLP is a uh, uh, stand by uh, the uh, virus-like particle. Uh, virus-like particle is uh, uh, actually the exact mimic of the native virus-like uh, native virus uh, appearance. 
but the, uh, without our genomic RNA, uh, scientists call the virus-like particle. So the, uh, it's non-infectious, but it's actually the appearance is exactly native virus. So it's a really good vaccine. So uh, that's what I found at the NIH Vaccine Research Center. Uh, we create the uh, alpha virus BLP uh, as a, uh, uh, with a, the stabilized particle. And then that's become a really good vaccine. Uh, that's why uh, I, I, I really like uh, the virus-like particle concept. And then the uh, virus-like particle concept already is known, like a HPV vaccine or the other vaccines. Uh, sometimes they use uh, the BLP. Uh, I found the alpha virus BLP. That was uh, the first time I, I, we, can find it, we can find it. And then once you, fi once you have uh, the BLP, uh, it's, real, it's become a really good vaccine. Uh, and the, uh, the Replicon project, and uh, this self-amplifier project is uh, also the using the alpha virus genomic RNA. So the, I'm focused on uh, also the alpha virus making the, uh, the structure. Uh, the, the BLP is outside. Inside is a uh, replicon. Uh, is uh, using the alpha virus uh, the RNA uh, mechanism. So the uh, BLP and then the uh, rep, uh, the self amplifier uh, technologies. You, you may think it's slightly different, but for 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 us, it's the same. Uh, we are utilize the, the uh, alpha virus uh, function or the mechanism. So you haven't decided the name of the virus, the, the vaccine. Oh, the name of the vaccine. Uh, <laughs> name of the vaccine. We have uh, a code name, uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, vaccine. We have a code name, but it's not the actual the name of the. Uh, not we we don't decide yet. And approvals. Approval. I mean, it, it, yes. It's, it's far in the future, perhaps. Yes, but yes. can you speculate? Yes. Uh, the uh, roughly uh, the. Uh, this year, Q2, we want to initiate the phase one. And then the uh, Q4, uh, we want to uh, initiate phase two. And uh, 2022, we want to get the uh, uh, approval. That's our the timeline. Distribution, international distribution. International distribution, de definitely. The, uh, if we can approve the, uh, this vaccine, is a really good vaccine. Actually, it's a small dose. It's easy to manufacturing. And they also, the, it induces uh, really high immunogenic neutral antibodies. I really want to contribute. We really want to contribute to the uh, world. So that's why. Uh, the, uh, but the, uh, let, let, let's see uh, how uh, we can approve the. Uh, we, how I can uh, how we uh, approve, uh, prove that this vaccine is effective in the phase one, and then we can think about the uh, uh, contribution to the world. But the, all of the people in here uh, want to contribute to the uh, the world, in the, to support the people in the world. Uh, that that's sure. Thank you. Would anyone else from the panel like to talk, discuss any of those issues, or? Just wait for other questions. Somebody? No? Okay. Anyone else from the, the floor? Perhaps I can step in with some uh, questions I've gotten online. So one is from um, Lisa Du at Bloomberg News. Um, how do you assess Japan's vaccine rollout so far? Um, what do you think about plans to put in place uh, a bigger rollout next month, and do you think it's too fast, too slow, et cetera? Well, <clears throat> I'm not here to, to really talk about this, this issue because, uh, yeah, um, we're not the expert in the, in, the, uh, in the field. So we are here to really, you know, uh, you know introduce what we are doing in terms of science. And because uh, uh, the, well, what basically the product is, uh, um, first in class as a self-amplifying uh, RNA vaccine. So for that part, part, I think we are not, you know, at least slow, we're not slow. We are very much accelerating the program right now. Okay, let me, she has a follow-up here. There's been a lot of communication from the government on, uh, on reports of anaphylaxis, and this gets to a bigger issue. 
about uh, vaccine hesitancy and concerns about uh, vaccines in general, but maybe especially experimental vaccines. Would anyone on the panel like to comment on this? Uh, how, how do we assuage, how do we calm people's fears about vaccines, especially something as new and experimental as yours? Mm. Uh, I didn't mention too much about the, uh, this basic technology. Uh, this basic technology was already uh, or, uh, uh, founded as a, uh, in the uh, 90s. Uh, it's actually the, uh, it's called the uh, replicon uh, vaccine. And uh, for example, uh, our the CSO John Smith already uh, did the, uh, several the clinical trial phase one, uh, phase two. Uh, around 500 people, uh, they uh, the, uh, actually the, uh, it's called the uh, Alphabax uh, company. Uh, they already uh, uh, um, uh, perform the clinical trial, and then 500 people uh, they they found uh, it's safe vaccine. So the uh, already the uh, this technology is uh, uh, proved uh, safety. Although the, uh, we are using the more advanced way. Uh, because of the uh, 90s, uh, the, they are using the virus uh, particle and they insert the, uh, the uh, RNA. But that co particle cannot replicate it, so that's in non infectious. That particle is uh, also the, uh, uh, it's that, that particle is the original uh, funding. And then, but the, our the, uh, vaccine is using the uh, RNA is the same, but the, uh, it's called the RNP, the kind of the repeat. Uh, we are using repeat, same as uh, uh, Pfizer or the Moderna or the messenger RNA vaccine uh, platform technology. So the, uh, recently, all the, the vaccine technology is really advanced, and uh, people uh, try to uh, speed up to make the vaccine as soon as possible. So that those uh, uh, LNP uh, method, uh, the technology is really advantage uh, to uh, to uh, to open the new uh, field. Is that uh, okay? Answer the, your question. I mm -hmm. think so. Um, any other questions from the audience? Yes, sir. Associate member, the Shiomura. Slide four. がちょっとよ,よく理解できなかったんですね。あの、you can ask in Japanese and then、um, yes, this Joyce will. I know she's a she's a perfect translator. I don't know. このスライドの四番がですね、うん、あのよく理解できなかったんです。でこれはこのワクチンのプロダクションが容易だと言ってるのか、それとも。この,あの mRNA なんですかね、その RNA を体内に投与したときに、これが自動的にアンプリファイするということを言ってるのか、うん、ちょっとよく理解できないんで、もう少しちょっと分かりやすく説明していただけませんか。私、uh, so uh, 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 はこの、uh, リプレゼンテーションの中で、この、uh, リプレゼンテーションの中で、この、リプレゼンテーションの中で、この、リプレゼンテーションの中えっとですね、あのおっしゃる通り、えっと、このテクノロジーはです、ねえっと、RNA が一度細胞の中に入るとこの、えっと、アルファウイルスのエンザイムが RNA を,アンプリファイ RNA を複製する仕組みがあるんですねでこの RNA を複製するすいません、えっと、ちょっと。それでこの RNA がここで増えます。これは mRNA ワクチンと同じプロセスな、mRNA ワクチンは RNA からタンパク質ができるだけなんですけれども、われわれは RNA が一度増えて、この RNA からこの
ワクチンを作るんですねワクチンを作るというか抗原をあの作るといった方が正しいんですけど。And so, first of all, we can see here as the RNA then here、uh, increases or amplifies, then it does go through the same process as it does for an mRNA vaccine as well, where you can see the protein、uh, then developing from the RNA. The difference in regards to our vaccine is that once、uh, this has been produced from the RNA once, Uh, then we take it from there in order to create the virus, or what could be referred to more specifically as creating the antibodies. だからここのシステムは非常に RNA、mRNA ワクチンと非常によく似てて、抗原、RNA をデリバリー、細胞にデリバリーして、プロテインができるんですけども、ここのプロセスだけがちょっと違っているので、非常に効率がいいということで、非常に少量でもですね、あのきれいに免疫をつけることができると。認識する RNA をすみません、もう少しマイクに近づいてください。あの親指のところを認識する RNA を作られて、それにアルファバイラスから持ってきたエンザイムをくっつける、それがワクチン全体の形という理解でいいんですか、えっと、少し違っていて、えっと、もう少し正確に言うと、えっと、RNA 自体は、レセプターバインディングドメインを発現する遺伝子が入ってます。その RNA が一度増えます。And so,、uh, first of all, to be more accurate, within the RNA itself, there is the receptor binding expression there, we could say, and has the gene within that, which is part of the, the process here. で、その RNA が増えた後、タンパク質に変わって、こういった親指の形を、親指のところだけが。きれいにそうあの細胞で発現されてそれに対する抗体ができると。And so when that RNA is then amplified, this is what then、uh, becomes the protein which comes into the thumb area which you're referring to then which、uh, forms the. このアルファバイラスから持ってきた。If you don't mind, sir, we, we have a lot of questions yes, going on here, so let, yes, if we have question, time. One more question. That's a very important one. I, I heard that you have a,、uh, some enzyme from alpha virus.、Mm -hmm. So, you put that enzyme to that RNA? So, yes. Okay. Yes, that's correct. Let me move on to a couple of questions from Dennis Normile from、um, Science Magazine. He says With many COVID 19 vaccines already in use, will there still be a need for additional vaccines、uh, when the second, when your vaccine、uh, completes clinical trials? So, I mean, You, you said it might be ready by next year, but、uh, will we still need it by then?、Uh, that's a really difficult question, and nobody can predict. But uh, uh, again, the,、uh, nobody knows what's happened、uh, this COVID 19 uh, uh, spread or the mutant spread. Or the、uh, several countries who don't have、uh, the vaccine, still outbreak happens constantly, and then those people can travel. And then still,、uh, we need、uh, maybe one year was、uh, a vaccine is needed. So,、uh, definitely, the,、uh, this is an、uh, important question, but the,、uh, let's, I, I, I really like try to. The, uh, 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 the best, best case are、uh, for example, the, if, uh, uh, if suddenly the, the mutant virus、uh, s p r e a d we can、uh, make、uh, those mutant、uh, vaccine,、uh, mutant strain vaccine as soon as possible. So、uh, I, I think、uh, we have uh, many uh, the opportunity and the, I So far、uh, in the world,、uh, still people know that、uh, we don't have enough vaccine yet. The follow up question he says、uh, with vaccination becoming widespread and new cases declining, where will you do the phase three trials?
Yeah, this is also a very important question to, uh, to be approved of this uh, vaccination. So the, after one year, so substantial portion of the residents in the world will be vaccinated. So it, is, it becomes much harder to conduct the clinical trial. But the, concomitantly, the antibody titer, this is the extent of the extent, uh, what extent to have the immunization power to protect the, uh, to protect the virus. So, uh, the scientific research, uh, research realized that how strong the ant antibody is from the vaccination. Mm -hmm. So using the such a surrogate marker, the vaccination can be uh, proved. So this is uh, one uh, alternative to be approved or to evaluate it, I think. Okay. One more comment from the Dr. Sure. Iwatani. Um, I think uh, when we think about in the future, you know, probably um, vaccine, oh, sorry, um, probably the, you know, the um, immune, you know, duration uh, have to be kept for, um, for probably, you know, more than three years. In that, in the case, uh, in that case, we need to uh, protect, protect as many as possible in the world. So, in that case, we have to supply the, you know, the more, you know, um, uh, sh you know, very secure and very effective vaccine in future. So that's why we have to develop the, you know, second generation of the vaccine for the world. And uh, based on the, you know, the previous thirds, you know, the uh, report, uh, in case of the search, you know, after two or three years, and the, the patient uh, loses the, you know, the immune you know, activity against the viruses. So in that case, we have to um, uh, keep the, you know, the immune system as, as, many as, as much as possible in future. So that's why we have to keep you know, the developing for future in the world. Thank you. I have another question here from online. This one is from Eric Johnston at the Japan Times. And he directs this to um, Uemura Sensei, or Kido Sensei, uh, Iwatani, uh, Iwatani, or Yamamoto Sensei. And he says, uh, as climate change advances in Japan, creating warmer temperatures, are there specific diseases or viruses that could uh, are more likely cause pandemics in Japan in a few years' time. If I could add like a bit of context, you know, mm -hmm. Japan was largely spared SARS and MERS. You know, there were almost, I think, no cases of that. But, you know, this is a case where the coronavirus did get in Japan. So uh, do, do you think that could be connected to climate change? In my personal opinion, the climate, climate change, change doesn't matter so much for the pandemic. Rather than uh, from the viewpoint of the uh, geography in Japan, the geography is much contributed to be protected from the pandemic rather than the climate change because this is islands. Mm. This is natural protection. Mm. Right. Just, just in my opinion, but the, uh, probably the, the, the mosquito related viruses, such as the dengue right. or chikungunya, mm -hmm. those are probably uh, related with the change of the temperatures and, and the, uh, the lives in, uh, of the mosquitoes are changed because of the, uh, you know, the climate. Is there any danger that those kinds of mosquito-borne illnesses? No, I mean, I, I'm saying that the mosquito, re uh, I mean, the, the virus is related with the mosquito. Right. Those are, yeah, I mean, because if you see that the dengue viruses in, in Japan, you sometimes see that the, some of the, uh, the patients who got infected with the dengue. Hmm. So, I mean, we cannot predict exactly, but maybe, yeah, those, like even chikungunya. Okay. 
Uh, any questions from the, the audience? Could I confirm my from Asahata? Please. You are saying about, sorry, you are saying about the mutant. So are you planning for this new vaccine? Uh, anticipate for this new mutant from England, from uh, South Africa, from Brazil, from Philippines, etc., etc. So far, the, our vaccine uh, induces uh, uh, enough neutralizing activity, same as the uh, wild type. So the, uh, we don't need uh, immediately to make uh, the new, uh, the, those uh, new vaccine. Uh, although the, uh, we are the watching the, all, the, all the mutations, and if we really need it, we, we are going to make it. And then uh, also, the, this is a, uh, the strength of the, our the vaccine platform. We can make very quickly against the, the, those mutants. Uh, South Africa, Brazil, those uh, 484 K mutation uh, is, uh, uh, of course, uh, um, it's, it's important. But so far, our vaccine can, uh, uh, can uh, react to the, those uh, strain. I have another question from our online viewers. This is from Pio D'Amelia from Italian media. And he says, do you think after the problems that happened in Europe uh, with relating, related to the AstraZeneca vaccine that Japan should, should delay um, bringing that in? Now, the AstraZeneca vaccine, as I understand, is, has been filed to regulators in Japan, but it is not yet approved. So should I think there be any added caution, perhaps, in Japan based on what's happened in Europe? So that's uh, still the, uh, I, I, so far the, uh, there's no uh, scientific data yet, so the, we have to wait the uh, more the scientific uh, data to discuss about the delay or uh, uh, other things. But uh, the, uh, definitely uh, we realize that the safety and then the uh, efficacy both is uh, the key for the, uh, making the vaccine, and then we really want to make uh, a safe vaccine. Okay. Any other questions from the, the audience? If, if you would allow me a question, actually, I, I just, I, I'd like to sort of try to boil down what I think mm -hmm. you're saying is the, the major strong points mm -hmm. of, 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 of the VLP therapeutics. Number one is that from what I understand, you can make a little bit of it, and it goes a long way, right? So you can, you can make it quickly. Um, and then the second, I think, uh, point you're trying to make is that you can adapt it quickly as well. It, uh, it, am I getting correctly the, the main strong points from your point of view? Yes, that's uh, that's two point. Additional, the number third point is uh, uh, vaccine design. Uh, we are uh, the making the, the uh, vaccine against the only the uh, receptor binding domain. It's more focused. So the uh, replicon, uh, sorry, the uh, self amplify RNA is uh, the platform technology. That we call it a form. Uh, we can apply quickly, change it. That's one advantage. And the second advantage is uh, uh, the contents. Uh, because of the, each virus has a different uh, character, each virus has a different weak point. That's what we design. So uh, each virus has a different uh, weak point, and then we just target it to the, those weak points. So uh, form and then contents, well, that's what we have as uh, the two advantages, or the unique aspect, I would say. And potentially safer, yes. Yeah, because the uh, compared to the to the uh, already licensed vaccines such as Pfizer, and Moderna, they use messenger RNA plus lipid nanoparticle. So this vaccine is basically the same as like that. So we use RNA and the lipid nanoparticle, but really less dosage. So risks. So from those components, we do have the same risks. But since we're going to use the low doses mm. for the vaccination, we potentially reduce the risks of the vaccination. That's going to be the, mm -hmm. uh, the advantage of that. 
The, having said that, uh, the, we are the, uh, just uh, having the uh, preclinical data, and then the moving to the phase one, uh, we will see the, those safety data or the advantage of the other vaccine. So the, uh, we really want to make a safe and efficient vaccine. And uh, seriously, this is a super talented people is working together with us. I'm re we are really excited and we are really happy to work with them. And then we really want to make uh, the Made in Japan the vaccine uh, in the future. I see. Did you have a follow-up? So, hosen jōken, ですね。それから、えー、接種回数、それからそのタイターの持続期間が、あの今までの動物モデルでなんか推定できるようなデータがありますか？ So I'd like to ask if you could share some information about the storage conditions, also the number of doses required, and so on of the uh, vaccine. あの貯蔵にあのどのくらいスタビリティがあるかっていうのは今あのえっと正確なデータをあのやっておりますので、えー、今のところあのまだあの公表できません。であのどのくらいの,そのドーズでやるかっていうのは、えっと、実はもちろんあのマウスとかでは決めれるんですけども、えっと、これこそ、えっと、フェーズ1で決めることフェーズ1もしくはフェーズ2で決めることなのでですねそれをもってしてどのくらいでいけるかとかどういったドーズでいけるかっていうのをあのやっていきたいと思いますそこもやはりセーフティーとエフィカシーの問題でですねできるだけ安全でできるだけ Uh, so, in regards to that, of course, we do have some preliminary、uh, data and so on. However, in order to have the actual accurate information, the data, this will be what will be coming up through the process that we will be going in through、uh, from now. Therefore, I, I don't have any public exact、uh, accurate data that I can share with you right now. We could, of course, look at the number of doses, for example, from the、uh, mouse trials and so on that we've had, but specifically the doses for. When it will be actually put into use is what we will be looking at deciding through phase one and then phase two、uh, from there and so on, basing that on the decision on how many doses will be required and so on. What we can say is that within this process, we are, of course, looking to prioritize and make sure that it is、uh, with both safety and the、uh, efficiency of the vaccine at the highest priority and basing it upon that. Titan, the 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 t And in regards to the storage、uh, period and so on as well, that will also be based upon、uh, from the trials from now. I had a follow up from Lisa Dew at Bloomberg, and that's about the cold chain. This has been a big hurdle、mm. for、uh, the Pfizer vaccine and other DNA type vaccines.、Oh. Do you expect that your version would be more stable at higher temperatures for transportation and storage? That, that's why the,、uh, we, are the, uh, we, we just run from the、uh, other people, s other companies.、Uh, we just focus on the more the,、uh, uh, we just run the storage condition is really important. So、uh, we are doing the, uh, uh, several uh, condition experiments、uh, to be uh, more uh, stable in, uh, uh, of course, in a higher temperature. That's our goal. And then、uh, easy to deliver is our, one of the, our goals. We're just about out of time. Maybe time for one more question. So,、um, sure. It's, it's about the business、uh, question. If I'm an investor of you, I'm asking you, why should you uh, 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 make an approval, make a launch next year while the other、uh, vaccine, Pfizer, Moderna, et cetera, et cetera? Of course, I believe they're improving now. They will make the second series of the vaccine. So, you will, you,、uh, have you calculated about the、uh, profit and loss for this one? We definitely try to、uh, make、uh, the, a vaccine as soon as possible. And then the, that's everybody's hope. And then the,、uh, that's what、uh, we, we try. One day, one day, the, even one day is short, the, the quicker is uh, the uh, best. I, 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 I would say we really want to do,、uh, deliver the vaccine as soon as possible. If I could ask one more to maybe finish this off, 
uh, inspired again from my colleague at Bloomberg. Uh, Dr. Akahata, you've, you've seen vaccine development in the US and, and also Japan. From your perspective, um, and I know you don't want to get too political, but, but what, what perhaps could Japan do in the future to prepare for uh, the next pandemics so that maybe it's, it's quicker with developments in the future? Uh, I, I, I am not in a position to, uh, to comment to the uh, Japan, Japan versus U.S. difference, but uh, it's, in my opinion, um, we're we just learning. Uh, everybody in the world, people is learning the, this process, and then the, we just run the outbreak happens, and then that outbreak, once it happens, vaccine is needed and the uh, uh, vaccine can uh, the uh, can the one of the, the uh, solution to uh, to solve the, this outbreak and then in the future definitely those uh, the outbreak may happen then we can react quickly react uh, more than the uh, this time that's that's only the, the my comment is that okay sure i think we'll bring the q and a to a close but since we have such a big panel i want to see a, do any of our guests have any final words? Any messages for the public about uh, relieving concern about vaccines or? No? All right. Well, thank you again for all of you in attendance and, uh, and watching online. It's been a very uh, invigorating discussion, very uh, enlightening and as a uh, tradition in our club when we have guests we offer them a a one-year uh, complimentary membership so I hope you will come and join us uh, for a drink in the in the bar sometime um, and and uh, so uh, carry on the conversation from there so uh, thank you all once again I'll gavel us out and bring this to a close thank you thank you